Good Wednesday evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Munnings. And I'm Charisma Robinson. For weeks, the country has been enthralled with the details of a civil suit involving billionaire American hedge fund manager Louis Bacon and Canadian fashion designer Peter Nygaard, alleging a sinister murder-for-hire plot. The two have been embroiled in more than a decade-old battle originating with environmental concerns posed by Nygaard's Lyford Key home. Well, this is the chapter has led to the resignation of Free National Movement Chairman and Senator Michael Pintard and has cast a light on campaign funding. Cleopatra Murphy was tasked with reading the documents and provides us with this breakdown. Two investigators allegedly hired by fashion mogul Peter Nygaard to kill his billionaire neighbor Louis Bacon and directors of Save the Bay's environmental group alleged that Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Ray Davis told them to record a meeting with Save the Bay's investigators and former Free National Movement Chairman Michael Pintard to see if they were doing anything illegal. They also say he suggested involving police. The admission is contained in a second affidavit released by the Save the Bay's investigator, John DePaolo, who says it was edited from the duo's affidavit with Nygaard lawyers, where Whistler Bobo de Vilma and Livingston Toggy Bullard Jr. say they went along with the plan because they did not want to lose government contracts valued at more than $100,000 annually. In his March 23rd affidavit, De Paolo says, explaining why the men for the third time have changed their tune, Mr. Bullard and Mr. De Vilma in a statement dated March 15, 2016, informed us that they each have numerous lucrative government contracts for maintenance, landscaping, hurricane cleanup, etc., which they have had since 2012. Their combined roadside cleaning and graveyard maintenance contracts alone are worth approximately $11,000 per month or $132,000 per year. This adds a new chapter to the ongoing Nygaard Bacon saga in which the men allege in sworn affidavits accompanying a lawsuit filed in the Supreme Court on March 9th that Nygaard was the mastermind behind planned hits on those opposed to planned developments to his property, Nygaard Key. Allegedly on that list are Bacon, Fred Smith, Romald Ferreira, Joseph Darville, and Reverend C.B. Moss, who is not a part of Save the Bays. The lawsuit is supported by secret recordings of Nygaard with De Vilma and Bullard, in which they ask Nygaard who he wants them to kill. The duo also allege they were paid by Nygaard to organize anti-Bacon marches. They retracted the claims in sworn affidavits dated March 24, 2015, released by Nygaard's team. Bullard's document alleges at the initial meeting with Bacon's investigators, they were told, once we give false evidence, they will pay us the money, which amounted to an initial payment of $50,000. De Vilma further alleges that Pintard, who was present during a payment at the British Colonial Hilton, said, you never seen me. I wasn't a part of this. In a September 3, 2015 affidavit, De Vilma and Bullard allege they gave Davis a cell phone recording of that meeting, which he said he would discuss with the Prime Minister. He suggested Bacon's team may do anything to get what they want, Nygaard may need their help, and was being targeted because he supports the PLP. De Vilma and Bullard also allege they contacted Nygaard, who flew them to Canada, and paid them $40,000 for affidavits, where their responses were coached. They further allege Nygaard's lawyers doctored their affidavits to omit Davis because they didn't want him affiliating. Filed with De Paolo's affidavits are notes from the Burton Copeland law firm stating that De Vilma and Bullard, referred to as the twins, were playing both sides. That in mind, it suggested anything and everything they say, unless corroborated by other evidential material, must be regarded as doubtful to rely upon. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.